In this video, we're going to demonstrate what's called the laden frost effect. And here we have a, a canister of uh, a duo vessel, rather, of liquid nitrogen. And I'm going to prove this is minus, uh, minus, almost minus 200 centigrade. But I'm going to prove to you that you can put your hand in that. And uh, we have a subject here. He's very loyal. His name is David. He's going to stick his hand in here. His fingers are still intact. And uh, here it goes. Um. That gets cold real fast. So here we're gonna show the paramagnetic effects of liquid oxygen sticking to a magnet. So this shows that liquid oxygen is paramagnetic and will stick to oxygen will stick to a very strong magnet. This is something you really only hear about in textbooks. And uh, it's a unique property of oxygen. That's about it. How we got that oxygen was using a welding tank, oxygen supply, and uh, a dual vessel here full of liquid nitrogen and we blew the oxygen in through the welding torch. So here we have a thermocouple right here in my hand and I don't think this is rated for liquid nitrogen temperatures. It's showing the temperature in this garage. Now let me just see what happens when we stick it in the duo vessel. Dropping fast. Rapid dropping at minus 39 and then oh, we're too low. So that didn't work, but uh, it just shows you how cold it is. Okay, I'm going to show you the effect of temperature on resistance. So here's a coil of 16 gauge wire, about a couple of hundred feet of wire here. And we've already had it in the liquid nitrogen, but uh, it's warmed up. And the resistance is showing close to what it would be at room temperature. It's around 0.8 ohms. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I'm going to drop it into this Dewar vessel here and we're going to follow the resistance on this multimeter here. So let's begin. And watch, watch what happens to that resistance. As soon as it hits the liquid nitrogen, the resistance is essentially zero now. This wire is very cold. And um, as soon as I take it out, it's still going to be very cold probably around minus 100 degrees, but look how rapidly the resistance climbs back up as soon as it starts warming up. It's back up to what it was, which is around 0 0.7 ohms. And then when I drop it back in again, it falls back down immediately. So there you go, a very interesting demonstration of uh, the effect of uh, liquid nitrogen temperatures on resistance of copper wire. Thanks for watching, folks. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.